in this video we're going to go through the topic on DC circuit alright so prior uh, to DC circuit there are a few formulas that you should know Q equals to IT okay there is the charge the current and time okay uh, V equals to W over Q there is the voltage the work done and the charge okay in other words it's the amount of energy given by each charge okay these two formulas are important because they will help us understand how the circuit works and of course your famous V equals to IR okay and without further explanation this is just the voltage this is the current and this is the resistance all right so uh, these three main formulas are important in this chapter uh, either memorize them by heart or start memorizing them now Okay, now uh, in this chapter, we are going to talk about uh, series and parallel circuit and how to calculate resistances as well as identifying uh, the current and the voltage uh, across the resistance. Uh, but first thing first, uh, let's talk about how a circuit really works. Okay, so let's say I have a, let's say I have a circuit okay, and it's connected in this manner uh, with a resistor here. Okay, now. Uh, current conventional current always flow from plus to minus okay so conventional current flow in this manner now of course then uh, in other words electron flow will, will flow in the opposite manner okay so it's conventional okay and this is the electron flow okay uh, in your O level syllabus right everything is in conventional unless they specifically ask for the electron flow okay so let's erase the red color one okay so conventional flow now uh, what happens is that whenever the, the the current flows through wire without resistor right it doesn't use up any energy okay now only use up energy when it passes through a component like a resistor or like a light bulb okay so whenever it uses up energy right the voltage uh, will start to deplete okay so let's say it's 6 volt okay if it has a uh, no resistor okay the current at every point right is holding six volt of energy, uh, six, six units of energy. Of course, uh, then this circuit will have its own complication, uh, which we will talk about later. Okay, but anyway, so let's say I have current flowing through here. Okay, so at this point, right, uh, the energy it carries for at each point along this wire, along this wire here. Okay, is still six unit because it has not passed through any component. Only when it passes through this component, it will use up uh, the energy. In this case, it will use up everything because there's only one component here. Okay, so it will continue flowing back. Okay, so uh, imagine you're an electron. Okay, so you're the, ele uh, you're the charge. Okay, so imagine you're the charge. Since you're using conventional current, right? So it's not electron. Okay, so imagine you're the charge. You're moving. Okay, so you move. Okay, you start moving along, right? So you move and move and move. And all these are six units. Okay, so six units here, six units here. They are all six okay because you move along the wire it doesn't use up any energy uh, basically you uh, you just flow lah, okay so you flow and you come here okay you are still six units of energy but once you cross this right okay because there's only one component here you use up everything okay and you'll just flow back you'll flow back okay come back here this is like the recharge center okay so once you charge up again you will move out again okay so you are charged through from 0 to 6 okay so uh, of course in a slightly more complicated circuit okay what we have here is a light bulb here and another light bulb here they are of the same resistance so what we can safely assume is that uh, I have the charge here okay moves moves with 6 unit of energy 6 okay so this is also 6 unit now however once it cross here right it will be left with 3 once it cross here right will be left with zero okay so in other words right this uses up three volt and this uses up three volts okay once it's zero it goes back up to recharge all right okay so this is how a circuit works uh you must know when when the energy from the charge will be used and over here we only talk about voltage but what is current current is how fast this thing flows okay so now in other words right if i'm moving fast but i carry no energy okay so for example over here i'm moving super fast okay so let's say it's 10 ampere 
but somehow I, I'm not carrying any energy. Okay, somehow this battery is used up and it's zero volt. Okay, then all this wouldn't happen. Uh, nothing will happen to the light bulb because my uh, my 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 chargers right are not carrying any energy. Okay, but in this case, that's not the case. It's six volt. Okay, that means each current here is carrying six units of energy. Okay, that's why six volts. Okay, uh, so let's go. Uh, that's the idea of current and uh, voltage. Okay, let's go to the question. Now, first thing first, I need you all to identify what is a series circuit and what is a parallel circuit. Okay, so for a series circuit, it's quite straightforward. Okay, let's draw a series circuit like this. Okay, this is a series circuit. Why? Because if you are able to trace the current, okay, so I'll trace it in yellow. If you are able to follow the conventional current, okay, in one straight line without lifting up your pen, okay, we call this a uh, series circuit. Series circuit is not uh, judged by how it looks like, how it looks like, but in fact, it's being judged by whether the circuit splits up during the entire process of going from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. Okay, so in this case, it doesn't split up. Uh, this is a series circuit okay because it doesn't speed up now an example of a parallel circuit will be something like this okay uh, hold on okay. okay so let's uh, let's do the same test okay so I'll go, I'll train my current. Over here, right, I realize that I need to speed up. Okay, so I come here first. Okay, now completing this circuit, uh, I have not yet completed here. Okay, so this is obviously a parallel circuit because I'm unable to complete the entire circuit uh, with one single stroke. Okay, however, let's continue this on and let's do this. Okay, so you realize that my current speeds up. Okay, so... Um, Better still, right? I should actually do this. Okay, so my current comes here. Current splits up. Okay, so splits up to red and green. Then every and green they combine, they become the yellow current again. Okay, so uh, let's uh let's look a bit at parallel and series circuit. First thing, uh, we talk about resistance. Okay, so the effective resistance or the total resistance is equals to in this case R one plus R two. The effective resistance here, okay, uh, it's not as straightforward. It will be one over R one plus one over R two inverse. All right. Okay. Now talking about effective resistance. Uh, now let's talk more about uh, voltage and um, current. Okay. Now so take a look here. Let's say this is six volts. Okay. The current pass through like this, right? Now the flow of current is it seems like it's not being obstructed by anything. Okay, so at every point, let's call this I1, I2, and I3. At every point the current is the same. That's why in a series circuit the current is the same since it doesn't speed up. Your current speed will only change right? your charge speed will only change when it starts to speed up. But in a series circuit, since there's no splitting, current remains the same. However, the energy brought by each current uh, is brought by each charge is different. Okay, that means uh, we went through this earlier, so this is six. This three is zero. So let's say this is D one and this V two and the EMF we call it V zero. Okay. So V zero goes to V one plus V two. Okay. So the current it actually spends um its energy on certain thing. Now uh let's go to here and uh this is slightly more interesting. Okay, so let's call this I one and let's call this I four. Okay, where's I two and I three? is over here this is i2 and this is i3 okay so now I want you to realize this that the current the yellow current is the main current and over here at this junction it splits up to the red and the green current okay so we have i1 equals to uh, equals to i2 plus i3 now it splits up okay so it splits up evenly and when it combines back, right, it will combine back to its original uh, rate of flow, which is I1, which is uh, which will give us this equation. Now, the, the next part where students are usually confused is why is it always that the branch and the main EMF is the same? Now, I'm talking about the branch, okay? So, this entire branch here, right? 
is also known as V1. Okay, this entire branch here, right? Is known as V2. Okay, so now the equation that we have here is V0 equals to V1 equals to V2. But why? Right? Okay, so what happens here is I'm gonna use a white ink. Okay, so what happens here is the current flows like this along I1. Okay, so that, that's the main current, right? As it flows through the as it flows through okay so let, let, let me draw here okay so okay so as the main current flows right as it flows through here right, ask yourself is it consuming any energy no because it's flowing through the wire now only when it speeds up right so let's say it first speed up to the red one only when the red one faces a component right then it will start to use up the energy so let's say it is six volt then it will use up uh it will use up this energy here then it will recombine back at, at this portion having zero energy now uh, another charge right okay not following the red path decides to split in the other direction so it splits here only over here right then it will use up this energy right you realize okay and then we'll combine back with zero energy so the current here although the current is the same so i4 equals to i i1 here right remember that one is here although it's the same this here it holds zero volt here it holds six volt all right because over here right charges are being re recombined with zero volt over here right charges are not using up any energy yet okay and that's how you identify a series and parallel circuit now the last one is a combination circuit okay so the combination circuit is uh, pretty straightforward if you understood what's happening in the video so far okay so this is a very simple combination circuit mm, okay let's make it slightly complicated all right so ask yourself first huh? we always deal with the we always deal with the slightly more complicated thing in the circuit then we deal with the simpler stuff okay so let's trace the current Okay, so current goes like this. Everything here is series. Then it starts to split up like this and like this. Okay, so it splits up here. It splits up here. I suggest you all bring different colored pens to exam during uh, physics paper. Okay, then you can do what I'm doing here. Okay, so uh, along the green line, the current is the same throughout. The red and the yellow will combine to give you the green. Okay, so in this case, red plus yellow equals to green okay uh i'm talking about current okay so this is strictly for current not for voltage okay now let's say this is 10 volts and all the resistors there are two ohms okay so two ohms here two ohms here two ohms here two ohms here now first thing we need to find this out okay we can find the effective resistance now we realize that uh the red color current doesn't split right in other words right this thing is in series okay so we have 2 plus 2 equals to 4 then we realize that this portion here and this portion is split up right so these two the 4 and the 2 here they are in parallel okay so the effective resistance of this right is given by 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 inverse okay that will give us 4 over 3 uh, physics except no fraction so 1.33 ohm okay in other words the total resistance now okay now uh, when you do this right you can actually translate this circuit into something simpler it will actually look like this this is the 2 ohm here and this is actually the 1.33 ohm so it goes like this okay so your circuit becomes much simpler and you realize that the current flowing through the 2 ohm is the same as the current given to 1.33 which is true because before it splits right this is the same current as the green one right and then it comes out as a green one which is true also because when it recombines it's a green current also okay and uh, yeah once you are able to identify the total resistance right so the real total r total in this case is 3.33 ohm okay so the current v equals to ir right so we are finding the green current we are finding the current here okay current equals to so v equals to ir i equals to v over r which is 10 divided by 3.3 which will give us 3 ampere so this is 3 ampere so this is 3 ampere so this is 3 ampere now i want you to take note of this okay so i'm going to use the blue one when the charge flows right okay now when i pass through the 2 ohm do i use that energy 
yes okay so i pass through with 3.33 uh sorry i pass through with 3 ampere okay pass through with 3 ampere here this is also 3 ampere now how much energy do i use here i can use v equals to ir so if i use v equals to ir i have 3 times 2 which is 6 volt so if i use up 6 volt here initially i had 10 volt if i use that 6 volt here this is obviously left with 4 volts okay in other words this charge here when it enters right it has 4 volts 3 ampere okay so 4 volts 3 ampere means uh the current will split up okay so this is of uh, a certain current okay so let me join red more straightforward yeah okay so let me erase some okay so here i actually have 4 volts with a unknown amount of current and over here i actually have 4 volts with an unknown amount of current okay so uh, the current splits up holding the same amount of energy because when it splits up it does not pass through any electrical component so i give 4 volts to the red wire i, I mean the red current and i give 4 volts to the yellow current however my current splits up okay uh, so my current will change okay so now we will we'll look at that okay so basically here I have 4 volt 3 ampere, 4 volt question mark ampere, 4 volt question mark ampere. Okay, so how do I find that? Okay, now uh, to know the current in the red one, okay, so I'll use the red pen. Okay, so I'll do here. Now to find the current in the in the red zone, right? So you know that the red zone for red. Oh, wait now, sorry. Okay, for the red zone, the R is equal to 4 ampere, right? and the v is equal to 4 volt so using v equals to ir i should be 1 ampere okay for the yellow zone okay the r is equal to 2 ampere the v is equal to 4 volt okay so the i should be equal to 2 ampere and then you'll realize that this 2 ampere and this 1 ampere they add up to become 3 which is true okay because uh, when they recombine here this is 3 ampere okay they are going to recombine here okay so uh, it's true um, that there's 1 ampere here and that there's 2 ampere here in the red and yellow res uh, in the red and yellow respectively okay 1 and 2 okay so this is a slightly more complicated uh, circuit and uh, actually yeah, I think I can stop the DC circuit video here alright let me know if there's any other question